Hi guys, it's Amy and this is Amy by Nature. How are you all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, November the 5th and here we celebrate Guy Fox Night or Bonfire, Bonfire Night um, from back in 1605 when Guy Fox plotted to overthrow the parliament and blow up the parliament and the king. And there was a poem I learned at school and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, so I'll try and remember it the best I can. Um, so it goes, remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, gunpowder, treason and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Guy Fox, Guy Fox, twas his intent to blow up the king and the parliament. Three score barrels of powder below, poor old England, to overthrow. By God's providence, he was catched with a dark lantern and a burning match. Holla boys, holla boys, let the bells ring. Holla boys, holla boys, God save the king. So that was a little poem for Guy Fox night. So, happy Tuesday, guys. Um, today, we are starting what I'm calling Escaping Reality, which I love to do. I am starting my fantasy-inspired binder today. So, we have got our Game of Thrones games. We've got Harry Potter. We have got Once Upon a Time. We have got Labyrinth. We have got The Hobbit. We have got the Vampire Diaries and we have got Lord of the Rings. So we are going to roll an eight-sided dice. There are seven challenges and we're going to roll an eight-sided dice to see where we are going to start playing. And we have got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 that we will be playing with today. So let us begin. Number six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are starting with the Vampire Diary Wipeout. So this will be fun. If you all remember me playing Jill's Christmas Wipeout, so we are going to roll the dice and we will see what our starting number is and we will roll down and see how we go. Six is our starting number. So if I roll a six again, I can cross it out. Um, but if not, I'll have to save everything on in the row. So that's a three. And I will do it the low budget way. Two, four. Oh, that's a six. So we will cross out all of these numbers and start again with six being the wipeout number. One, and our last roll is another one. So it must have understood the assignment of low budget. So we will be saving two today in our Vampire Diaries Wipeout. So that is a good start. Oh. Next, we will be going to Number four, so that was six, five, four. So this is the labyrinth roll and save. So we're gonna need two dice for this. And we'll use our galaxy one for the top and we'll use our ocean one for the side. So we have got six and six, and that is the cute little worm from um, 
in the labyrinth and this little guy is worth two. So we'll be putting two in there. I have got the numbers on the sides. Um, my copy has got tiny little numbers, um, but the the one um, I put in my Ko-Fi has got bigger numbers, so it's easier to see. Because I decided it was far too small. Right. Next, we're going to number seven. Oh, I know what number seven is. This is Hide from the Nazgul. This is Shut the Box, guys. So, let us go. Five and four. I'm going to need another colour. Five and four, which is nine. So we have escaped that guy. Four and four, which is eight. Oh my goodness. Oopsie. Five and one, which is six. Three and one, which is four. One and three, which is four again. So I'm gonna have to take the three and the one. Three and four, which is seven. So we're gonna go down to one dice and see if we can roll a two and it's a six, so no. <laughs> so we are saving two today in the hide from the Nazgul which is, oh no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're, I lie, I lie, I missed a five. <gasps> Why did I do it? Oh no, it's okay, we we're still out. We are saving, we are not saving. Oh, um, we are not saving five, we are saving seven. Oopsie doopsie. So let us get seven. So we've got two, four, six, seven. That is me not paying attention. I'm just far too excited for this. So that's seven going in our hide from the Nazgul shut the box, which all things considered is not a bad run. So next we are going to play number two, which is is oh the home to hogwarts game oh i'm quite excited about this okay so the home to hogwarts game is a board game style and what you do and we've got a key to the savings so what we land on we've got a key here and then we have got some bonuses so i will um we are starting here so we're going to roll the dice and see where we are going I think I'll use this dice. So five. So one, two, three, four, five, which is the broom. And the broom is fly around the grounds, save two. So that is that. And I think we're gonna go again for this one. Oh, do we have a broom bonus? No, we don't. One, which is the cauldron, and that is go to potions class, save two, and this one doesn't have a bonus, and I think we're going to go one more time, which is four, one, two, three, four, and that is maybe a bad idea, because that is get your Hogwarts letter, save two. And oh no, it's okay because we don't get the bonus until we have got all the snitches. So let me get a, hopefully a yellow that will show up. And we're going to colour in this bonus here for pick up a letter from the air. Pick a letter from the air, should I say. So that is that. We're going to stop there. And that 
is our home to Hogwarts game. And we have got two, four, five, six in here today. So this is what we've got left. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's all right. Okay, next. Number four, which is our Labyrinth Roll and Save. So let us get our two dice. And that is number three and number five. And again, it is our little worm. Hello. And that one is two. So let us get two. And we'll put another two in here. So that is, means we will have four. Next, we're going to number six, which is our, oh, it's our wipeout again. Oh, this could be, this could be tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, let's take a dice. Which one are we going to use? Eeny, meeny, money, you. Okay, so our starting number is a four. And we have a one. A one. A two. Another two, another two, and a three. So this adds up to four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. So we are going to add the one and the five together and save six. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, which means we now have eight in total. Oopsie. Oh, go in. Come on. Very nice. Right, so we have got five left. So where are we going? Number eight, we don't have eight. Number eight, we don't have eight. Number seven is the shut the box. I am not brave enough for that. Number four is our, is it our labyrinth? Will we do something we've not done before? Or will we just go back to our labyrinth? Three, four. We'll just do our labyrinth. So we need our two dice. And it is a one and a two. And that is Jareth. And Jareth is worth six and I only have five okay dokey right so I am going to Grab an IOU and we are putting a one IOU and I don't usually do that but um, I'm not pulling out extra for this because I have got, I've worked all my money out and I really don't want to have to um, change things about. So. We've got a 
one IOU for this and I didn't score him off. Mr. Jareth, the Goblin King. And we'll put that in there for next week. So guys, that is my Escaping Reality binder. I hope you have enjoyed my games today. I had so much fun making them. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. And until I see you again, guys, take care. Bye.